magical happenings swirled around us this week as we investigated an enchanted forest. Stay tuned for all of the mystical details. Our special schedule is as follows. On day one, we have library. Day two, music. Day three, PE. And day four, art. For the specific days when we have each of those specials classes, be sure to visit the s'more version of the newsletter and stay tuned. Up next, this week's academic accomplishments. Remember, you can access the links to each of the activities that your child is doing in class by going to the s'more version of the newsletter. In math, we've been working with coordinate systems. Your child had the opportunity to use Marian Anderson's monumental ordered pairs and Langston Hughes's numerical patterns to practice. We delved into Module 6, Lesson 1, Coordinate Systems. Students solved problems with your end business, and they also had a series of mega missions. And each child settled in for 23 camp math. In science, we've been focusing on the engineering design process. Your child conducted a wealth of investigations, the first of which was a chance to unwind. We also learned about gravity differentiating between mass and weight. We looked at a video, astronauts jumping in one-sixth Earth gravity. We also compared the planets of the solar system to soda cans filled with sand. Your child had the opportunity to recreate Galileo's Leaning Tower of Pisa experiment. We also focused on the vertebrate groups featuring a jigsaw tournament and we looked at falling balls, a moment of science. It was a video from PBS. In writing, we are working to craft argumentative essays, investigating to understand an argument and using quotations to bolster an argument. We also used a wealth of grammar skills as we've worked on ordinating and subordinating conjunctions, interjections, capitalizing and punctuating sentences, nouns, proper adjectives, and commas after introductory elements. With regard to phonics and spelling, we're in Unit 29, featuring L-E endings. In reading, we've been summarizing literary texts using idioms, comparing points of view. We also read a story, Shoot for the Moon. It features a boy who's concerned that he's not growing fast enough. A great tie-in to this Friday's Growth and Development presentation. And in social studies, we've learned all about the struggles of Marian Anderson. We also learned about Langston Hughes. We uh, accompanied Babe Ruth as he hit a record number of home runs. We also learned about the Harlem Renaissance. Amelia Earhart took flight and we investigated what happened to her. We learned about the mystery solved. What really happened to Amelia Earhart? Because we learned that there was a missing plane fragment found. This week's Literacy Corner videos feature comparing points of view, point of view, and comparing and contrasting characters in a drama. The links can be found in the s'more version. Also, the read aloud is from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basilie Frankweiler by E.L. Konisberg. It features Claudia and her younger brother. She decided not to run away from someplace, but to some place, which happened to be the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. We are immersed in this adventure. You can be as well. Visit the small version and you can access the links to each of the readalouts. So have you ever asked your child, what did you do at school today? And he or she actually responded with nothing or not much or everything at school was fine today. If you want more specific details, you have to ask more specific questions. In this week's edition, there is an article entitled, How to Get Your Child to Talk. Now, there are 30 suggestions for getting the conversation started. I'm going to read some of the more invigorating ones, but you can also access the small version for the complete list. For example, you could ask your child, if you wrote a book, what would you name the main character and where would he go? Uh, do you have any jokes to tell me? 
How would you describe a perfect day for you? If you could do something just like your friend, use the name of the friend, what would you do? Uh, who is your favorite TV book story character and what do you like about him or her? If you could have any three wishes granted, what would it be? What is your biggest dream and your biggest worry? If you could change your name, would you want to and what name would you choose instead? What are you proudest of in life? Where is your favorite place to be? What is something you never thought you could tell me, but maybe want to tell me now? And my favorite, is there anything you've always wanted to ask me, but didn't? Do you want to ask me now? And for deepest conversation, uh, here are some other suggestions. What else can you tell me about that? For example, if you say, well, if your child says, today we learned all about the Roaring Twenties and what Marian Anderson did, you could say, what else can you tell me about that? Uh, you could also say, no way, can you tell me more? Seriously? Then what happened? Interesting, is there more I can hear about? I see, so what's the next step? I like listening to you. Can we talk more another time? Again, the complete list can be found in the s'more version of the newsletter. It is a wealth of great ways to get your child talking. We have begun MAP, Missouri Assessment Program. The test started yesterday, and with regard to your child excelling on this opportunity, attitude is everything, and there's an article in this week's edition. I have been emphasizing to your child the importance of a great attitude you can as well. Here are some suggestions. Say these things to your child. Read all directions carefully. Complete the questions that you know for sure. Make note of the key words in the questions, verbs and all important nouns. Eliminate wrong answers on multiple choice questions and uh, mentally cross them out. Make sure the question number and the number match. It doesn't really affect us on this map test. Pace yourself and don't spend too much time on questions you know. Check answers at the end if time permits, which it should. Check to make sure that you have answered every question on the test. Think positively and breathe deeply and get ample sleep each night. Of course, I'm the homework hotline. Should your child have difficulties with his or her homework assignment each week, please have him or her call me at 816-415-0368. I am here to help. You can see us in action each and every day by accessing our Twitter site. The link can be found in the small version of the newsletter. You should feel like you are right there with your child in Camp 313. Invasion is imminent next week in issue number 30, entitled Martian Invasion, to be delivered to you for the week ending Friday, April 23rd, 2021. Explosive adventures await us. Be sure to tune in this video version as well as the small version of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Lock.